hello um, welcome to this particular video all right here we are going to show you how to create a personal access token okay if you're in the LS program and one of the tags all right okay one of the tags here like as you can see here is to create a personal access token or github okay so that's exactly what I'll be showing you how to do how to create a personal access token all right so you ready let's dive right into github and get get it done okay this is my github all right this is my github so the first step i'm going to take is to come to where this icon is you can see here come here i'll click on it all right so i'll navigate down to settings and I'll get down to settings I'll click on settings all right the next thing to do right now is to move down to developer settings you can see that here below developer settings so I'll click on developer settings all right so you have them here github app out app and personal access token so I'll just navigate down and click on personal access tokens I'll click on personal access tokens okay you have two here five green tokens and token you know, uh, that is classic tokens so um, in this let's just work with um, tokens which is the classic tokens so I'll click on it all right so um, as you can see here I have created these two tokens before now all right so and you have here have the opportunity to generate a new token of course which we are doing now all right so generate new token so I'll generate a new token for classic which is for general use that's what I want to do so I'll do that all right short note what do you just a brief de description let's just add that to our token name note or oh, my git token let me add that my git token sorry my git token all right expiration date why do you need expiration date for this i'm adding that uh because uh, github automatically remove your token token you create after i think after 12 months so it's it's good you add an expiration date for improved security to your token so i'm going to let's say 60 days let's just say 60 days for this token expiration date for this token so i'm going to select just watch carefully said scope define the access of your token I read more so what I want you to select here is repo then just move down to admin repo hook click on that check the box and then check delete repo so these are the three boxes I want you to check First one is repo, the second one is admin repo hook, and you have delete repo. So when you are when you've done that, you go and click generate token here. Click on generate token. Alright. Good luck. A token has been generated. You can see that here. Alright. So if I click here, see that token? If I click here, it's copy to clip clipboard. So I can go and paste that token and use it uh, for use it either in my in my command line on github api so you can use that token your command line instead of imputing password every now and then you can use that token in your command line as well as your api so please thank you so much if you got value from this video kindly like and subscribe to this channel all right like and subscribe to this channel thank you so much 
see you in the next one